You guys want to do a little Karen real quick? Uh, a body cam Karen. I saw. Dude. Do not touch. <laughs> I saw about 60 seconds of this video and I immediately saved it. This one is apparently one of the most painful DUI stops an officer has had to deal with. This woman flies off into one of the most incredible narcissistic rages I have ever seen because believe me, absolutely nothing is her fault and she has done nothing wrong. <laughs> Volume warning, everyone. Do not touch me! Officers Garrido, Mangel, and Morea are responding to a call about a vehicle sitting in the middle of an intersection. Oh, hi, thank you. Hi, right, can you put the car in park and turn it off, please? Uh, yeah, of course. I was just looking for a number. Turns off 312. Can you turn off the car for me? Yeah, of course. You do realize you're uh, in the wrong lanes, right? I do. You're I was on... just looking for a number. Yeah, you're on the wrong side of the roadway. I know that. I was looking for a number. Why would you be on the- You're on the wrong side of the road, the carriageway? Dude, if I get a notification from Google, you know when you're driving and you get those notifications, it's like, driver on the wrong side of the carriageway. That is an immediate threat, okay? So her sitting here and being like, yeah, I know I'm on the wrong side. What? What's it to you, officer, that's here to control the traffic, that's here to make sure everyone's safe? What's your problem, buddy? Like <laughs> The wrong side of the roadway, though. Because I was pulled off to the side of the road. Yeah, you're not in the side road. You're in the, you're in the westbound lanes, and you're facing eastbound. Yeah, I know. Okay. I apologize. This gaslighty tone of a person asking legitimate questions and being responded to like they're the problem. Has this ever happened to you before? I feel myself getting triggered all over again. Can you give me the keys, please? Come on. Give me the keys, please. Give me the keys to your vehicle. Her acting like she is a you don't have to understand, just give me the keys. Okay. Here's another pretty triggering thing. People asking you why when they're clearly in the wrong. Somebody putting you in a position for you to have to explain their bad behavior so they can turn it on you and make you the bad guy. Something to watch out for. Thank you. Where are you coming from? Right, you're heading home in North Palm. Where are you coming from? I was coming from my friend's house in Jupiter. She's down here. Really? Friend's house. Dropping her off. I have three children oh. at home. You're out tonight? No. You've been drinking? Yes. Where were you drinking at? My house. Your house or your friend's house? She's in my house. My house. My friend needed help because she was in a dangerous situation. So you were drinking at home and then went to your friend's house? In Jupiter? No, I was drinking. Folks, what strategy are we witnessing right here? I'll give you a second. I feel like there's a couple answers here, but I'm looking for one big one. Minimization. There's a big, big, big tone of minimization. I see some other people saying guilt, absolutely. Minimization that might make you feel guilt if you're susceptible to it for asking too many questions. Minimization, making you feel like you're the problem, absolutely. Oh, a little redirection, the three children at home, yeah. No, I'm so upset that I can't even say sorry. I didn't even do anything wrong. Ooh. Can I have your driver's license, please? Now we've got oh, you sure can. The big but I also know. Okay, good. You're messing with the wrong one. <laughs> I just want you to know that. Are you threatening him? I'm not threatening him, but I do know people. That's fine. Oh my Everybody knows. Oh no, I'm in a circle. I'm not threatening you, but I do know people. Here's my license, you son of a. Those people. I'm being taken advantage of right now. No, I'm the victim. You're in the wrong side of the lanes. What if somebody's coming this way? I don't want to talk to you. That's fine. You don't have to. And I will not. That's fine. Who are you calling? My husband. Because if he's not here, I'm not getting out of the car. Yeah. You'll have to drag me fucking out of the car. What? Just take me home. I have three kids. Just take me home. That's not an option. Hey, I know I'm drunk and I'm on the wrong side of the road, but I have three kids. So you need to take me home right now because I know people and you're messing with the wrong And I'm not getting out unless my husband's here. <laughs> I can't, dude. Unreal. How about Officer Sean? Hmm? Officer Sean of North Palm Beach. What about Officer Sean? Call him. 
I'm not calling anybody. Call him! He has nothing to do with this. He won a minute. Not even Deputy Sean, not Sheriff Sean, Officer Sean. I don't think that he'd appreciate you calling him. Officer Sean is some first year dude. She just she met at a bar. She trying to hit him up, like, come get come get your boy. Come do something. At 1.30 in the morning. Well, I am going home tonight and I'm not going anywhere other than my house. Okay. <laughs> and you will take me there. <laughs> no. no? Okay. Not going to take you there. You are. Then why are you gonna take me? I have three children. Okay. Look, y'all already know, I love Factor. Why? Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Look, if you're looking for something calorie conscious, you wanna get a little bit healthier, or you wanna lose weight, just try Factor. I'm telling you, for a while, I have been tired of the whole, how many pieces of chicken can I eat? Can I eat this broccoli? Can I please? Please add a little cheese to the broccoli, please. Well, Factor helps make all of those decisions for us because all I have to do is open the box, put a little slit in the cover, and then put it in the microwave and start eating. The other day I was having a little cheesy jalapeno chicken and it was like 12.30 in the morning. Seriously, I had had a long day and I just got to throw it in the microwave and it's done, that's it. Oh, and maybe if you're on the go, try Factor for a little snack supply. The other day I was going on a 45 minute drive and I just took a little snack snack with me because you know I'm old and I used to put my food in a little plastic bag and then my boyfriend was like why are you doing that you look like an old lady and now I just take a little factor snack and I look cool look I need my snacky snack so I don't get grumpy grumpy <laughs> Apple cinnamon pancakes, cold pressed juices, smoothies. I like the mango smoothies. I get those with every single order. Look, you want it, we got it. And all you have to do is go to factor75.com or click the link in description and then type Bose 50 in there and then you get 50% off of your first box. 50%! If anything, just try it. Just give it a go, okay? Safe with your husband, correct? No, because I can't get a hold of him. Okay, well, because he's probably sleeping because it's 1.30 in the morning. Why can't you just take me home with him? Because that's not how this works. Because you want to be me? No. <laughs> so she's not being cooperative saying we're going to have to. No, she's not. Rip her out. Rip her out. All right. Are we going to have to extract her from the you go vehicle? Alex? No, I don't go by Alex. <laughs> I have you Alexander. four kids and I need to get a I thought you had three. My Wait. <laughs> my husband, I have a time. Did she just have a baby? Am I tripping? Or did she say three children earlier? Your husband's okay. sleeping and he's home with your kids. Alexander, you take me home to Alexander, him. Alexander, focus on me, okay? She take me home to my husband. <laughs> my kids. Alexander. No, you're harassing me. I'm not harassing you. I have okay? my... Do you, do you know why we're here? You're going to take me home. Do you, do you know why we're here? Because you're gonna take me home with kids. Okay, before before we take you. Here's the thing. You cannot show who you actually are for a moment and then flip back to this victim thing. For her to say, uh, you don't know who I know, which by the way, it's Officer Sean who apparently didn't even pick up the phone. <laughs> but for her to say, you don't know who I know, you're making a big mistake. I mean, they perceived it as a threat because they said, are you threatening me? And then to flip back to this victim thing, it's not gonna work. You've already shown your true colors. And it, I mean, the jig is up. Where do we go from here? You anywhere, do you know why we're here? No. Okay. You're can, 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 can you just do me a favor? <laughs> I, I want you to calm down. <laughs> Okay. Can you take a deep breath? I just want you to look around. Tell me where you're at. Can you do that for me? I'm on US 1 at Donald Ross. Okay, can you take a look and do you see the street signs around here? Can yes, you, I do. You... Take me home to my kids. Alexandra, I need you to calm down. I just want you to talk to me. You're teaming up on me. Where, you're where are you? Wait till you know who my husband fucking knows. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm not it's worried not about that, it's okay? It's not even wait till you, wait till you know who my husband knows. Not wait till you find out who my husband is. Can you just tell me what they say? You're asking me if I can't see the street signs. I can see them. They're right fucking there. So what does it say? Are you fucking kidding me? Central. And what? Donald Ross. No. What's that one say right Military? there? Military. What's that one say right there? I'm calling my husband. Do okay. not touch me. He still has an answer. If you touch me, Corporal Sherm Johnson. Stand up. Get out of the Come on. Oh, step out. oh my God! I take her. You're gonna harass me. No, relax, 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 relax. Okay, relax. 
Go to your phone. I'm Please not. Don't make me I have me. the rights to call my husband. You did. And I don't think he answered. She acts like she was sitting in the car with her phone with the number ready to go. And she's like, I need to call my husband. I'm going to do it. I might. I'm going to do it. Corporal. John Cena. Who said that? I know when he all said that in chat. Just now. <laughs> Listen, come to the Twitch channel. If you want to be on the YouTube channel, you just got to show up to the stream. It's right, right there, okay? Mondays, 5 o'clock. Pacific Standard Time. I want you to call my husband right now, though. Why didn't you call Listen, you called him about stop. 30 times already. Stop pulling away. It's not going to get you anywhere to do that. It's only going to make it worse for you. You're going to beat me? No. No, no we're not beating you. You're Everybody, no here no Everybody here has video cameras on their chest. Yep. Everything that has occurred from the start to finish <laughs> is on body camera. Can you call my husband right now? No. You will call your husband. Right now? Nope. No. When we get a chance, we will. She's, we'll she's a nightmare first. right wife. This is how okay, she acts? Right Let me now. explain nope. this to you. Let like, explain this I mean, you. you guys don't think this behavior is only reserved for officers. This is how she acts to her kids. This is how she acts to her husband. Anybody. Everybody. You were under arrest. I didn't do anything. You were under arrest. I didn't do anything. You want to handle this like a dog? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'll do Go anything ahead. you want me Go to. Ahead. Go ahead. I've never heard that in a body cam. Okay, I don't know. It just sounded it just sounded weird. It just sounded weird, right? I am I the only one that thought it was weird? Put your foot in the shoe, that's what we want you to do. <laughs> just don't take me to jail. Put your foot in, come on. I'll do anything you want me to do. Sometimes it's just like a horrible situation, you know? And but this one, this is a video where her situation and her intoxication level is just showing her true colors in full form. I, I, and I mean, I have no sympathy for this at all. This is embarrassing. Embarrassing, but it's also just horrible behavior. And I, I say this all the time. You guys probably heard this a million times. Life will show up and give you little hints that you're being you're being a bad person, whether it's to the people around you or to yourself. They'll kind of like give you a situation that forces you to self-reflect a little bit. And you have a choice to look in your reflection or not. I'm sure she had many opportunities before this point where she could have looked at her bad behavior towards her husband or when she was drinking or whatnot, and she could have gotten help or changed a little bit. And now this is life screaming at you that you're a piece of shit. The punishment is this video being online forever and you're going to jail. Let me explain this to you. You are under arrest for driving under the influence, okay? Yes, sir. Yep. I'm sorry. Your demeanor? Your attitude in the car has shown me that you are not willing to cooperate. I want to and that cooperate. It puts that it puts us in danger I want because of your demeanor. Okay? I want to so we're not. Listen to me. I'm explaining where we're at right now. I apologize. Okay? So we're not going through with the exercise. You don't. You don't. I apologize. Was so empty. You are not sorry. You're not sorry at all. Let you me explain care. this to you. A DUI is a traffic misdemeanor. You don't care. Did you hit someone? No. Did you cause a fatality? No. Okay. We're in the realm <laughs> of a traffic. I want you to listen to me. You're not listening. We're in the realm of a traffic misdemeanor. The other crazy thing is he makes a great point. There wasn't an accident. There have been no fatalities, no injuries. You were on the wrong side of the road and you might have just gotten locked up for the night in the drunk tank for a DUI and moved on. But all this? Not me. I just have three children. I understand that and you will see them. You will see them here in eight hours, okay? <laughs> Did you hear? That's what it is. Did you hear what Officer Carver just told you, Alexandria? I want my babies. You will see them here in a few hours, okay? Where? They're going to be released on your own recognizance in eight hours, and you're gonna go home, okay? That's what's gonna happen, and you're gonna have a no. A I want to come back. You're gonna call my husband we will right call now. Your husband. You're not in any position to be giving demands. You're in my I'm not giving demands. The nicer you are to me, yes, the nicer I will be to you. You start in acting what up way? again. Physically? You start acting up again, and I won't be so nice. What, I won't be physically? courteous. Have I been physical with you? Because you know there's cameras, right? There's cameras everywhere. Oh my Are you going to beat me? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. The person that basically minimizes and asks why to the point that you have to be the bad guy because they won't let you proceed with the conversation until you answer them. Why? 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 When they know the fucking answer. They know. They know exactly what the answer is, dude. And now when he feeds into it, she's like, why? Because you're going to beat me? Because you're scared there's cameras around? Because I got you. I got you. I mean, this is textbook narcissistic behavior. Textbook. This is actually 
disgusting. This is so gross, dude. <laughs> like an officer what dies. No, I'm not coming anywhere. I want my fucking husband. I want my husband. I want my husband. I'm a nice girl. What was the whole arc about? Like, let me call my husband. Let me call my husband. Did her husband just not answer? Did nobody answer? What time is this at? This is at 1:42 in the morning. We didn't do this to you. You did this. I yourself. didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> I have so much PTSD. This gave you PTSD. I don't do anything. Stop saying that. Just some cold ones in the back too. Is there? Oh. Don't know if they're open, but they're... some Michelobes. Then I asked her why she's on the wrong side of the road. She's like, oh, because I had to. Uh, this, um. She got this drunk off some Michelob. I don't know. It sounds like she and sister had a little shot of tequila or two. And when I rolled up, her head was slumped over the wheel. <gasps> oh, okay. She was and then as soon as I walked up, she like woke up. She claimed she wasn't sleeping. She claimed she was on her phone, but I'm pretty sure she was passed out. Okay. She passed out you on the opposite end of the carriage. He is a police officer. Call him now. <laughs> Here's what's shocking, okay? She's inebriated, behind the wheel, in the wrong lane. She's done a lot of things wrong here. She's put other people's lives in danger. I can't even tell you how many cases I've seen where people die because of a drunk driver. She was so drunk that she was passed out behind the wheel on the opposite side of the road. This is reckless to other human lives. It's careless. It's disgusting. It is textbook wrong. But she is so incapable of believing that she has done anything wrong, anything at all. She believes she has the authority to call someone and he can get her out of this. She doesn't believe that she deserves any repercussion. None at all. I don't understand where this comes from. As a person that wakes up in the morning and wants to just punch themselves in the face, I cannot imagine walking through the earth doing horrible things like that and believing that you deserve absolutely no punishment. That type of mentality is shocking to me. This is a reality check that she needs and people on the street need for their own safety too. And you are just a nasty drunk. Mm. I am not a nasty drunk. You're a nasty Wow. You're not one of the familiar cops around here, are you? What the you fuck? You don't know what it's like in North Palm. Yeah, y'all see the car is moving. Cops, are you? We are on our way to the station. Because your name isn't Shane Mize or Thomas Prendel. They're so embarrassed. They're the only ones around here that we respect. There's over 300 officers in this precinct and we only respect two of them. And that's because they're friends with me, Alexandra. So anyways, call my friend. Fucking husband. <laughs> Maybe you should go talk to him and ask him about me. I'm sure he has some words to say. That was ghetto.